What's going on, y'all? And welcome on in. It's currently 5 a.m. I just wrapped up a quick stream, pulled for zeal, played some games in Arena, Guild Wars, and RTA, and I have a ton of thoughts about him. So let's get into our honest review of this child emperor. I don't know if he's a child. <laughs> he looks like one. Uh, emperor Zeo, the latest mystic unit. There's a lot to it, guys. Um, you definitely need to tune in because what I might say might surprise y'all. All right, let's get into it. Okay, guys, here's my stat build for Zeo. And before I talk about whether you, well, we'll do that at the end, whether you watching should pull for him or not, because there's a lot of nuance to it, and I think some of y'all shouldn't pull. You'll you'll hear more why. He's very good, but some of y'all shouldn't pull, and you'll hear why in a second. Let's just talk about my build and what, you know, the results I had today were. Um, the build I went for, obviously, Zeo is a unit. He's the great equalizer for slower or standard players, since at 260 speed, guys, quick napkin math. It's not exact, but essentially... It's close enough. If y'all want to give the exact math in the comments, feel free. But if I'm sitting at 260 speed, my opponent needs to be like 330 or something to get to go before my Zeo. So that's why we I call him the Great Equalizer. And that's why I think if y'all value that kind of unit that can take the first turn and you don't need to have, you know, insane speed gear, um, that's why I like him for this role. Now, on top of that, I'm kind of treating him sort of like a bruiser. That's why I have the chatty. We'll go into artifacts here in a second. I got some bulk, and I need more, and I still run him alongside knights and other mitigation units like Roz or Arowell. That way, number one, right, with this speed, most likely I'm taking first turn. I'll interrupt a, a problem unit like Closer Charles, Conqueror Lilius. I didn't get to fight any Rans because I'm assuming they'll pre-ban Zeo, but if I did, right, I would be able to steal the first turn, Put silence on a key unit, activate DFI where I get that tank up, and either they try to kill him, and he's so tanky, you know, they'll waste some attacks, uh, or he'll interrupt and silence a key unit that provides attack up, like Conqueror Lilius, or sorry, Closure Charles, or stop the Vigor and Provoke from Conqueror Lilius, and then he'll just start doing some damage in that DFI mode. Um, that's what I've been using him for, and I think for that kind of role, he's very good. If you guys want to just use him as an Assassin Sid to fight against those Rans, then that's why I'm saying you probably don't even have to pull for him because players that need to take first turn, those cleavers, will have to pre-ban him. They're going to have to pre-ban him and like Bellion. And and if that's the only role you want him for, guys, you don't have to pull for him because he's going to get pre-banned and then you get to reap the rewards of players that are going to you know pull for Zeo anyways because the, the cleavers have to ban him. Does that make sense? So if you do decide to pull for Zeo, make sure you have a game plan. He's not a first pick unit. If you try to first pick him, guys, you're going to have a bad time. Players will just out tank you. Uh, his him going first won't really be that meaningful because they'll have higher effect resist, or they just won't. They'll just live through your DFI, and when that wears off, Dio's a, or Zeo is a sitting duck. So let's get back to the stat line real quick. Uh, we take the first turn. We have some bulk, which I want more of, and then we have just attack, crit damage, whatever left over, so that he can hurt and do some serious damage in this DFI mode. We have exactly 50 crit chance because DFI, of course, gives us the bonus 50 crit, so we 100% have crit chance whenever we use skill ones. And the pen set here, guys, is not that important since we already have pen set here. And the skill three has defense pen, but just consider the, the skill three as a you'll do 20 to 25 percent of your target's health as long as they don't have a barrier. Uh, you don't really have to worry about the number crunching here. It just will usually do about 20 to 25 percent of your target's health. Um, but the pen set just adds extra damage. If y'all want to use something else, feel free. Crit set to make up the uh, 50 crit here. Uh, health set. I'm sure like anything will really work. You can use broken set if you wanted. I know some people are trying like destruction set. As long as y'all can get the speed up there, that, that should be fine too. But overall, just make sure uh, you find out what kind of role he wants. And his role should be taking that first turn initiative. So make sure your speed is around that 250, 260 range. And then from there, if y'all want to go more damage, you can. I like bulk because that's the type of player I am. All right. Uh, last thing, effectiveness. I have him on the self imprint, but I might swap back to the attack percent. It really depends. Um, having a little effectiveness is nice versus those random, like if your opponent has made Chloe and you want to silence a DPS unit, uh, you know, you want to bypass that passive. If they have an artifact or um, imprints that also provide... Um, what do you call it? Effect resist like Bastion or Shamadras. You, you know, having a little bit of effectiveness is nice, but realistically, uh, you won't be able to silence like Soul Weavers and things like that. Knights with high effect resist. So it's not super important, but if you can get a little bit, you know, always nice. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about the skill enhancements, guys. Simply put, Zeal is a maxed out unit. You really, if you have to skimp, make sure you max out the skill too first, because what I keep saying, taking that first turn is the most important. That's his main role. And then from there, um, I would probably just get like 
max out skill one so your DFIs hurt, and then try to get to, um, I guess, whatever combat readiness you can. You really do want to plus 15 him, though, um, as the combat readiness here is very nice, and the damage on skill one is very good after you max out the skill two. So try to max him if you do invest into him. It's going to be worth it, as long as he's not pre-banned. Um, last but not least, we have the artifact selection, guys. I opted for Chatty just because, uh, I like I said... My goal was to interrupt my opponent's game plan and then have him survive and then start hitting those DFI skill ones with a cool cut in animation. The chatty kind of just helps with that. It did save him here and there, but my attack, the barrier wasn't super high, so I could consider some other artifacts. Um, I actually need your guys' help if y'all are theory crafting anything. I know some people were throwing out the idea of arties like, uh, where is it? I have like Etika's Scepter could be one. I think... I think the artifact selection, he's pretty um, versatile in that regard. Uh, you could also just run like Taga Hells. Taga Hells is always solid. That way either him or some other units can have access to souls. But uh, right now, I think I will stick with Chatty. I'm just going to try to get more bulk or more attack. So it feels a little bit more worthwhile. But artifacts, let me know what y'all think. It's probably going to be Taga Hells, Etikas, or Chatty. Something like that. Uh, I don't think there's like a best in slot that you have to pick for him necessarily. Okay, now that we talked about the builds, stats, skill enhancements, and artifacts, all that good stuff. Let's get to the meat of the video. The final question, is Zeo worth up to 10,000 of your hard-earned mystics? Because I'm getting asked that question a lot, and Zeo is not a simple yes or no because he's very, very niche, but he's so powerful in that niche. So essentially, if you are a free-to-play player, if you are newer, or don't take PvP too seriously, that includes RTA, Arena, and Guild Wars, you definitely should skip Zeo. He's not a PvE unit. He's probably terrible there. And there's some other mystic units that y'all want to grab um, on rotations that will do more for your count overall. On top of that, guys, if you do plan to play Zeo, but you just want to use him to stop cleavers or very fast players or very fast units like Ran, you may also, if we're talking about RTA, want to skip because... Like I said, he's going to be pre-banned just like Billion was. So it will feel bad for you to spend 10,000 Mystics if that's like all you saved up. And then the unit that you really want to pull for, you gear him up. And then most of the time where he's good, he's going to be pre-banned. Now, if you think you can use him a little bit more carefully in the later picks, right? If your opponent tries to punish you by playing too tanky slower, then you bust out Zeo later. And he's kind of like an upgraded Assassin Sid. He's a speed contester. And by contest, I mean he will take first turn. He'll interrupt their game plan and then provide some value either through taking hits and then hitting hard with that DFI, that three turns of DFI. So that's why it's kind of a little bit nuanced, guys. I can't safely just say all of you should pick up Zeo. For me, he's a must-have unit. I think for anyone that wants to take RTA seriously, and as long as you're not just a cleaver, I think you need to pick him up because his skill set is crazy. In a game that speed is so important... Smilegate giving us a unit that can guarantee first turn without having to fish for insane speed rolls and be 330 speed plus uh, is very, very important to have. So try to just weigh how much value that is for you. And one bonus thing too, guys, if you are kind of newer, but you you really like Arena and Guild Wars, I think he can be super good there. Just so you can, you know, guarantee that first turn against those Rans, Paras, Siliuses, and kind of stop them, you know, if those have been a, a thorn in your side. But overall... Um, guys, for me, for endgame RTA players, he is a must pick up. For newer players or PvE players, you skip. For everyone in the betwe in between, if we're going to have to do a little soul searching, you're going to have to really evaluate how much other ML units do you need, how much you think you can use him if he's not pre-banned, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So leave me some comments, stop by my Twitch stream, stop by the Discord, and I'll help you out individually because this is not a simple yes or no for a lot of players, all right? But hopefully this helps some of y'all out. He's so much fun, guys. When he gets rolling, he's a blast. He's absolutely insane. And I can't wait to play with him more after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, to my Americans out there. And anyone else that celebrates. So, yeah, guys, that'll wrap it up. Um, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.